In this video, I'm going to talk about this astrophotography barn door tracker, which lets you take long exposure photos of the night sky using just a regular SLR camera and a lens with a focal length less than around 50 millimeters. Using just this and a regular camera, you're able to take photos of the Milky Way, like this one, uh, and some other deep sky objects, like Andromeda Galaxy, which you can see in this other photo taken using this exact mount. It's an incredibly simple project to build. It uh, really consists of two pieces of wood, a hinge, a screw, and a tripod mount. I'll get to the build details later, but first I'd like to talk about what the actual problem is. You see, the Earth is spinning, and the stars are faint. So if you want to take a picture of the stars from the Earth, uh, you have to leave your shutter open long enough for that light to appear in the image. But if you leave your shutter open, uh, it can only take, you know, 10 or 15 seconds before the stars have moved enough that uh, you get trails. So I'm sure you've seen images of the streaking stars at night. Those are the star trails, and that's exactly what this contraption is supposed to avoid. So, to leave your shutter open longer to gather more light, you also have to rotate your camera to counteract the movement of the Earth. And because the Earth spins around once in 24 hours, that means we want to spin our contraption at a rate of 360 degrees every 24 hours, which comes out to be 0.25 degrees per minute. If you'd like to build it yourself, you can follow my links which will walk you through exactly this build, um, but in fact it's probably simple enough you can come up with your own design. The really important part is this screw. As I turn this handle, the barn door separates. So if you get a regular screw or bolt with 20 threads per inch, which is quite standard, you simply have to mount it 11.5 inches from the hinge. And that gives you a rate such that you need to turn this handle one full rotation in a minute to match the rotation of the earth. Other than that, you just mount a T-bolt, which allows you to mount this contraption to a tripod. And then you attach a tripod head for a camera. Obviously, if you did this for 24 hours, eventually you'll be at 90 degrees and no more rotation can take place. This tracker really only gives you maybe eight or 10 minutes. Okay, so now I'm gonna walk you through how you set up this camera to take a long exposure photo at night. The first step is just simply mounting a tripod attachment to the bottom of your barn door tracker. Next, what you wanna do is align the hinge with your axis of rotation. So what I do is I take this hinge, I get down on one knee and I just close one eye and look down the hinge. And when that is aligned with Polaris, the tracker is aligned. And once that's done, you can put your camera into the second tripod head. Great, so the camera's attached and I've got a remote shutter here. So my settings right now, what I would normally use is I set the shutter to bulb. I set my aperture, uh, this is at 2.8 right now, but it's as open as this lens allows. And I set my ISO at 1600 or 3200. Then for focus, I recommend you take a couple test shots uh, to make sure your stars are in focus. Uh, and that focus is usually not quite at infinity. So just pull back a little bit. Okay, so now you're ready to take the photo. You're gonna need something to time every 15 seconds, which is the interval I recommend for turning this tracker. If you have a lens with a focal length greater than about 35 millimeters, however, you'll need to update more frequently. Um, so I recommend looking at the rule of 500, which will dictate the minimum interval that you can rotate this handle. So we're ready to go. I've got my stopwatch. I'm going to hit start and start the image at the same time. So, so three, two, one. Now I'm just going to watch. And in 15 seconds, as delicately as possible, I'm going to just touch this handle and turn it a quarter turn. There is 15, quarter turn. So there's some shake on the camera when that happens, but fortunately it's such a small fraction of the time that the image is taking place, it actually gets averaged out. So you just watch your watch, and every 15 seconds you turn it a quarter turn. Uh, 
until you feel you've taken a long enough exposure. I usually go for around two minutes. The most important aspect to taking a good night sky photo is finding a dark sky. So uh, please send me any questions you have about this. I'd love to see the images you manage to take using it as well. Uh, and have fun looking up at our sky. It's really a staggering experience to spend a night out under the Milky Way. It's one of my favorite things to do in the whole world, and I really hope you guys have fun doing it too. Thanks a lot.